The family arrived to find their loved one already gone. The woman's daughter had to be held back from going into the smoldering home as she screamed out they couldn't get her out. Neighbors of Mario Cloud say they're thrilled that there is a suspect description being released, but they're still fearful because that suspect is still on the loose. Now, Mario Cloud was gunned down at his house while his girlfriend and eight-month-old baby were inside. Just over an hour of deliberations, the jury unanimously recommended a death sentence for convicted killer Gary Michael Hilton. It was an employee that was compromising all of these hundreds of credit card numbers. We've got Snow, we've got Santa, we've got Squeaky the Mouse. All that's missing is you. There was just support pouring from both sides of the street as everybody came marching down. The weather was absolutely gorgeous. Treble is having no problem eating today, and his foster parents say now he's up for adoption. It smells like kettle corn out here. You've got to get out here. It smells delicious. I'm playing with Gak. Instead of finding safety further back into the store, he went outside and fired a shot. Good afternoon. It took the jury just over two hours yesterday evening to come back with a guilty verdict for a man charged with murdering a Tallahassee mother. Our top story, violence at home claims a woman's life in Valdosta. And the orange and green bowling team receives a Rattler renovation. Elton Gumbel has the highlights with your Good Morning Sports. It's just shocking. It's just, you know, it's kind of unreal because, I don't know, I felt like she was reaching out to, reaching out for help and a lot of people turned their backs on her, and I think I did too. The discovery of Sunday Blomberg's body has left many saddened, surprised, and full of questions. Shocking. I couldn't even sleep last night just thinking about the poor girl just laying out there and her little girl. It's a mama, you know, it's a baby's mama. Sunday's sister, Sunshine, who only wished to comment through a family spokesperson, sat through the press conference fighting back tears. Belinda Griffin worked with Sunday at this little pantry in Tipton. She was real bubbly. She, um, she always had something good to say, you know. She was, she was, she was a really sweet person. Neighbors of Sunday's in-laws, Roy and Ruby Evans, say they are surprised, but they have witnessed firsthand Roy's aggressive behavior. I'm down here one night and wound up in a fight out here. And after that, he kept coming down, beating on my door. It's sad, the whole situation, because you hear about this stuff every day happening in the world, and one day it ends up around you, and it's all real then, you know. The majority of the jury, by a vote of 12 to nothing, advise and recommend to the court that it impose the death penalty on Gary Michael Hilton. Just seconds before Gary Hilton heard his fate, he fixed his tie and turned to smile at a gallery full of people. The jury took just an hour and 15 minutes to decide he should be sentenced to death for kidnapping, murdering, and dismembering Sunday school teacher Cheryl Dunlap. The jury saw what needed to be done here to accomplish justice. Gloria Tucker nearly fist pumped her way out of the courtroom. <laughs> It says Hilton's life is not equal to what Dunlap meant to her. I don't think I got justice or closure. I don't think Sherry got justice or closure. Uh, I think the only ones that will get justice are any potential victims. It doesn't bring Cheryl back. Nothing's going to change the fact that she was taken from us. Alternate juror William Booth sat in on all 11 days and says he would have made the same decision. I was optimistic. You know, I didn't think that it would take as long as it did. However, Booth says the outcome speaks volumes. At times, I would, um, you know, just start to tear up. It's just a, you know, horrific thing. I, I'm, I feel like justice, you know, is, I know that it's been served all the way, but it's being served. And it's like so fun, and I really like the water. I like to play in the waves and catch crabs. Anna and Frankie have no idea. Both of their families almost canceled their beach vacations after reports of oil on Florida's Gulf beaches. Locals to the Destin area say they fear all of the national news coverage is just bad publicity for those parts of the state, even though their shores and sand are as white as they've ever been. I'm thrilled to see what I'm used to seeing. It's, it's priceless right now, so it's great. Tennessee native Tasha Brady says she opted to visit family in Oregon instead of making her annual trip to the Panhandle because all the negative coverage she sees on TV that suggests that the sludge has taken over the beaches. We made this trip yesterday. We weren't coming here this year, unfortunately, because of, we were afraid it would get canceled, so I had to plan something else. Annual tourists say they too see fewer people soaking up the sun this year. We thought about it, but we've been here so many times. We have a lot of friends that come down every year, and, and uh, 
they all told us everything was perfect down here, so we decided to come back down. For now, instead of tar balls, it's a row of umbrellas and very relaxed beachgoers. And even Anna can vouch for that. This beach is good, and I love the beach. Some say that's a recipe for disaster. And now, even the FDA says so. Thomas County law enforcement is taking a hard stand against drinking at a high school football games. Sheriff's deputies say they will not tolerate underage drinking or those over the age of 21 being publicly intoxicated. I'm here on Florida State's campus where earlier today some of FSU's brightest and most talented students found out where they'll be spending the next three to seven years. Rick Scott just showed up here to the Goodwood Museum about 20 minutes ago. People are still trickling in behind me. There's busloads of people just pulling in here. We're talking 19 events in eight different cities and all ending here tonight with the inaugural ball. But in this case and with many other trees, the whole interior could be completely rotted out. Everybody used to come on out to the downtown get down. It's going to be a blast and I'll see you all back at 6 o'clock.